Hey guys, so it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. So in this video, I'm actually gonna give you five tips on how to create an amazing food truck logo. It's gonna be the kind of logo you could put on your truck and on the uniforms that your employees are gonna wear. And if you're looking to sell merch, this website can create an amazing logo that you can even make even more money from. But we're gonna get into those five right now. Hey guys, so it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. So as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm gonna give you five tips to create an amazing food truck logo. And this is gonna be a simple way to do it, and it offers you thousands upon thousands of variations. So I'm gonna hop on my laptop I've got right here, and I'm gonna walk you through those steps. But before we do, if this is your first video for Marketing Food Online, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. We have over 800 videos for the food entrepreneur if you're getting a food package product started, or if you wanna start a food truck or even sell food online, definitely hit that subscribe button. We got you covered with all the information you need. So let's hop into this. I'm actually gonna create a food truck logo. Now, the reason why I wanted to show this video is that there's a lot of ways you can actually make additional money when you create a logo using this uh, website, brandcrowd.com. That logo can be put on merch like hats, on shirts, on sweatpants, on all kinds of merchandise. So if you have a following with your food truck, you can send them to a website and you could be selling merch and have these, these logos on those different food, uh, the food uh, clothing, and then that way you can generate more additional monies from those products while you're doing your food truck business. So this is another great way to make additional money. So what I'm gonna do is I typed in here, we're gonna do Frank's food truck. And let's go ahead and get this started. Now, the five, five steps. Number one is always gonna be think of the color. The more vibrant your color, the more attention it's going to grab. And if you're going to use this logo on your food truck, remember, that's going to be on the wrap. That's going to be a gigantic logo around your food truck. The brighter, the more vibrant the color, the better. Because you want to get attention, obviously, to your food truck. Obviously, if the type of food that you're selling is, of course, really interesting to the consumer and the customer when they're at a food truck event, that is important. But if you're in the middle of a whole bunch of different mobile food trucks, you got to definitely stick out. So let's work on this, and I'm going to show you what color can do for your product. So first things first. All right, Frank's Food Truck, which I spelled Frank wrong. Let me go back. <laughs> Frank's Food Truck. And he's going to be a hot dog, hot dogs. So I'm going to create a logo based on a hot dog food truck. So basically type in the keyword there of your hot dog. If you're doing tacos, obviously you do tacos. Whatever it may be that you're doing, type those in because watch what happens. It's going to give you over 9,000 logos that are associated with hot dogs. This is amazing. So if I scroll down, let me show you what I mean by that. And then we'll pick out one of these and I'll show you how you can actually edit it and customize it. So that term actually created 9,600 logos. It's amazing. So let me scroll up here and let me find an, a really cool, unique hot dog. There, there we go. Let me see. All right, so this one's actually kind of cool. I like the way this one looks. So once you do it, number one, color. Okay, so the list is number two, the font style, number three, the layout, and then of course the number four, keep in mind the type of brand that you're actually trying to convey. Figure out what your brand is going to look like with your food truck, okay? And number five is actually super, super important. Keep it short and, and, and memorable. You want that logo to not be complicated with the design or too much text because it makes it even difficult for people to remember you or track you down if they go to a local event and try to find your food truck. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> All right. All right, so <clears throat> here we go. Sorry about that, let's get that up and running here. So we got the logo. So when you click onto the logo itself, it's going to show you the colors that are currently in the logo. Any of these colors can actually be changed to fit whatever it is that you want. So now if you're looking for the hot dog and you want to make it a little more brighter, you can definitely go that route. If you're looking for a deeper red, you can click on this new color button on the top and then drag it over to the color that you like. And you can see it changing, right, right? So I want the brightest, deepest red I can get. There we go. And then hit done. That applies the change to the area that you're changing, okay? So next up, let's see. The bun I like, but I'm not really feeling the color on that. So let me see here. So the logo colors again will appear right here. This is the color, and that's gonna be the red. Now, I want to go over to change that color, the bun color. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter brown. There we go. And then I'm going to hit done. So any of these colors you can basically manipulate and change within there. Okay, once you click on the logo, they'll pop up. Next up is the text. I kind of like this, this, this look and this layout, but I'm going to show you the difference in the different type of fonts that are available. And you can pick out from literally hundreds and hundreds of different fonts. The one that's kind of cool that sticks out, I did a video a little while ago, is actually this one right here. So I like that. It's a little more cleaner, easier to read. It's crisp and it's a little larger. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and pull this back. Now, <clears throat> one thing you want to keep about when you're doing number two, the font style. You want to keep in mind how big the font is. You don't want it to overlay over the logo. You want it to actually be just enough of a size that it will fit underneath the logo itself. And you're going to go right about there. Don't try to overlay it. This begins to get too complicated. Always separate your fonts from the actual logo itself. Okay? Now, Damien, can I change the inside color? Yes, you can. So let's check this out. Let's see what it looks like with the red. All right, so that's done. And I like the inside color. The outline, you can also even change that as well. You can have a red. You can do, I would love the yellow because it ties the two colors of the logo in. Okay? And then next up, you can have your slogan. Best dogs around. And again, go over to the font style and change that as well. I like to have it a little bit more kind of a whimsical here. Let's do something like this. There we go. Now the inside color, I'm not really feeling that. So let me go with the red this time. And then we are going to click done. And then the outline, I'm actually going to go with the red. Cool. Now, when it comes to the slogan part, I recommend also below the actual name of the food truck, which is Frank's Food Truck, you want to make it a little bit smaller, okay? Because you really want people to remember the name of your food truck, not necessarily your slogan, okay? And let me go back up here. I'm really kind of, I like that one, but it's a little hard to read. There we go. And that's it. And again, that's as simple and easy as you can do. So once you actually choose a logo that they create for you, you can modify it, change it, uh, manipulate it. You can make it exactly what you want. And check out brandcrowd.com. I've got a link down below. And you definitely click on that, and it's going to take you to this website. You can actually start for free and design a logo to start off with. Once you download it, which, of course, I'm not going to purchase it just yet, but you can download it here. Let me show you really quick. And that way you can actually pick out which one you like. They have different packages, okay? So you can actually purchase a single logo, which has all of these different resolutions, the PNG and JPEG and vector files. Those files are super important because they allow you to, like I said, you can create that based on the merch from hats and shirts that you want. You can put it on your food truck. You can wrap it in your design. You can put it on your website. Those different types of files are very important. So that's how you do it. You pick out which one that you want and you go from there. So if that was helpful, definitely let me know down below. And if you have actually used brandcrowd.com for your logos, let us know in the comments. Um, and of course, I'll see you guys on our next video. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, start a home-based food business under the Cottage Food Law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, Get your own online store or sell food online. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.